making a rabbit stew. You know, back in the old days, way back when, people used to tell me that if you had a rabbit and you put it together, you can veggies, you can make a rabbit stew. Hang with me. I'm going to show you how it's done. Hot dang. Look at that rascal. That's a pretty rabbit. You might hear some birds out here, but that's kind of like I live out in, the, out in the countryside right now. And they got my little birds in the cage, and they got a bunch of wild ones running loose and all kind of stuff. Feel like I'm in a, a, a sanctuary. All right, here I go. First thing I'm going to do with this rabbit, I cleaned it good. Now I'm going to salt it up. Now you gotta remember the old folks back then, they didn't have a whole bunch of stuff, but we lucky these days. I got salt on there and I'm putting a little garlic powder. That's good. Put it on the side, got a little, a little something here to help me wet the old whistle. And I'm spilling all my little bell peppers. Anyway, you season it up the way you want. Ah, God dang. All right, paprika. And all I'm doing is just putting a light layer on everything. Now I'm gonna start this out here, outside, but I tell you what, if it gets to getting dark on me, we'll be moving it indoors. Chili, little chili pepper. Like a little chili pepper. I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper. Like it a little spicy. Now you remember I made some roux. I just made a dry roux. Well I did something special with mine. I put a bunch of black pepper in mine. Cause I like mine, I like the black pepper flavor. But this is gonna go in my gravy. So we'll be using that. We'll be using parsley flakes. I'll be using this NAR product. This is tomatoes. It's powdered tomatoes. And with this powdered tomatoes, it's got some uh, chicken broth, chicken bouillon. Got celery, got three stalks of celery chopped. Two whole onions chopped. In this bowl, what I showed you a while ago, I've got three carrots and four potatoes chopped. Garlic, three cloves of garlic chopped. One big tomato chopped. And that's about a quarter, quarter of a bell pepper I had left. That's going to be in there. I might be adding a little chicken broth. Oh, yeah. Water. Got to have some water for the gravy. What else we got that I'm forgetting? Wait a minute, here we go. All right, this is some of my cherry berry homemade wine. Yep, and uh, I'll be adding about a cup of wine to the gravy. Now I use, I'm using cherry berry, but hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever. Anyway. I'm going to take my meat at this time, work them spices in, and I'm going to set, reset up. I got to go to the stove right now, so we got some serious business to take care of. All right. Peanut oil. I always use peanut oil. Try to use it as much as I can. I need to brown that rabbit real good, because that's the first thing you want to do. Oh, yeah. It's hot, baby.
Just he chased that old rabbit this morning along the track. I wasn't doing nothing in the field, but as soon as I hit the track there, uh, walking on the track, Sissy took off, and sure enough, that sucker from crawling, running across the track, and then old Sissy got. Give me a chance to get a bead on it. It's a nice one. Oh yeah, that was a nice one, I guarantee you. Rabbit juice in there. Well, oh, I tell you what, that peanut oil fries so good. It's got a, a, a flavor when you're frying food, just like, like, just like you've never had. You know? That's why I like to fry meat in there. You don't have to just fry cookies and stuff and peanut at all. Hell. Damn, that rabbit smells good. Oh, oh, baby. I don't know why I don't go hunting more often for these suckers. Blow my fire a little bit. And I can start kind of... <coughs> That belly meat. Just gonna brown first to the center. <coughs> God Almighty, girl. Let me tell you what. Y'all gonna see a gravy that's gonna be so so golden. Yeah. All right, what's going to go next? You took all the meat out. You didn't lower the fire. It's when you want to put onions in there. Onions. There you go. Got about two onions there. Chop. Looking good. I'm going to add a little bit more grease to this, a little bit more peanut oil. I got to fry the onions down. The rabbit done soaked up a lot of, a lot of my oil. pepper in there now. I got a quarter, maybe a half a bell pepper chop, but you know what? It's whatever you want to do. If that floats your boat, go with it. If you like a lot of bell pepper, put it in there. For flavor, put it in there. Use a half. What else I got going on here? Celery. Three stalks of celery chopped. I'll let saute a little bit. Now this gravy is going to be almost black. But you talk about awesome. More peanut oil. Want 
keep an eye on that. You want a little oil in here. Because you've got to try to fry these veggies. Throw some tomatoes in there. And some garlic. I got one whole tomato. I got three cloves of garlic chopped up. Them tomatoes gonna give me some more liquid in there. You notice I'm working on the gravy more than I'm working on getting that rabbit cooked. But well, that rabbit skin's pretty good. I'm only gonna have about an hour and a half on that rabbit, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. God, that smells good. Ooh. See them tomatoes starting to fall apart in there. Skin's breaking away from the meat. It helps it. Turn to look to help liquefy this. <laughs> Gonna put about a half a cup of wine. Let that start doing its thing. Oh yeah. Now that's taking the part of that gravy process. God, if you can smell that. And that gravy is just so beautiful right now. Get some of that big Green knees off of there. Open up a little Voss water. Put about a cup. Put about a half a can of chicken broth. Pick my fire up and start putting my meat in there. All right, now I'm not going to season this anymore right now until after a while. That's when I'm going to do a little bit more to it. But what I will do is cover my meat. with water. And I'm going to put a teaspoon. I need a teaspoon. Tomato bouillon by Nar. Put that in there. Might as well get it going, baby. Now, 
I'm going to put two te teaspoons of my roux mixed with black pepper. I just got to cook. God, if you can smell this, boy, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have people over shortly, I can guarantee you. All right, covering this baby up. Blow my fire. Hey, what? It's been on about uh, about 40 minutes. I tasted it a few minutes ago. I'm just gonna add very little ingredients because, man, it, it's awesome. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. can use a touch up of cayenne, not much, not even a quarter of a teaspoon. Ah, parsley flakes, brand new. Don't mind the birds, it's late in the evening, they want to roost. They're going to raise a little cane for a while. I'm going to put a few parsley flakes in there, maybe a, te a teaspoon. They don't really have a great, great big uh, pot. Paprika. A little paprika. Like old John said, that's for the essence. A little touch of chili. Chili powder. I'm going to do some salt. Not much, because it's already got a, it's got a little sweetness in there. But that's to be expected. I got tomatoes, I got uh, chicken bouillon, I got all kinds, I got wine in there. So that's to be expected, a little sweetness. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now all this going to be served on a bed of rice. Starting to get dark on me right now, so I really got to... Got to get with it. Probably end up uh, more than likely putting this in the house to finish it off for video purposes. Me, I'll sit out here all night. I need to add some more of this Voss water. Now that's not the sparkling, I use the steel. Steel, not this steel. And you just want to pretty much keep your rabbit covered to the top with water. You know, just cover the top of your rabbit with water. That's good. But don't forget, I got some kids. I got me a excellent tester idea. I tell you what, y'all know Corey. Put a few carrots, carrots and potatoes on here. A little gravy. I've got a lot that's got to come out that pot. Let me tell you what. Got Leo, got John, got us, got everybody. Come on, push over a little bit, boy. Give me, <laughs> give me some space. You're trying to take Don't my hug job. The camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, Chef Bouquet. I tell you what, I got a lot going on. Getting ready to fix me a plate. I don't like to tease myself. <laughs> Good, boy. Oh, yeah. Get it? That rabbit is awesome.
I love it the way it is. Some people like to cook it till it turns mushy. I like it to look like chicken. But that's what we do, right, bud? Oh, yeah. Subscribe and you got your thumbs up. Aye, oh yes.